Hi everyone and welcome to the Creating the Crafty Life YouTube blog hop. Uh, we have to use uh, the Graphic 45 paper lines, um, any line that we want. Um, you, For the grand prize, what you need to do is make sure you are subscribed to each and every one of the uh, hop um, participants no matter if it's YouTube or blog and you need to leave a comment on each um, post. Um, there's some really talented ladies out there and they've done some really beautiful work and um, I will uh, post a picture of the prize at the end of this video and some pictures of my project, some close-up pictures of my project and what I have done is this beautiful tag that you see in front of you and I have used um, two different lines um, the paper is from Once Upon a Springtime which I have used on the back here and then on the back of the tag and also on this little tag in the back and then the other paper line I used was um, I used the chipboard pieces from Secret Garden. I just thought that these two pieces went really great with the paper that I used from Once Upon a Springtime. And what I did was I hit, have a piece of corrugated cardboard that I put paper on both the front and the back. And then I inked the edges with Victorian Velvet uh, Distress Ink from Tim Holtz uh, Ranger. And then what I did with some of the paper here is I peeled off some of the cardboard to um, show the ridges underneath and then I gessoed that and then the paper what I did over them spots is I cut it and I curled it back and then I gessoed all the way around the edge of the tag. At the top I made a hole and I put some seam binding in through here and then I used some of the Vintage Photo Distress Ink to grunge it up a little bit. And then I have the two chipboard pieces here and I put some seam binding in this little button one. And this here says Memories and then a little message or whatever can be put here. And the flowers that I used are Wild Orchid Craft Flowers, which I love. These, I believe, are the Tea Roses. Um, and I think they're the 35 millimeter, um, but I'm not sure. And then I used the Tuscany Roses here. And then some Hip Rose Buds. And then I have a spray that I cut up that was Pearls. And then I did the same thing at the bottom. I used the same Tea Rose and it's a very light light orange almost like a peach and then of course another Tuscany rose here and some hip rose buds and then I also use some of their beautiful leaves that I tucked behind the roses and then I added some flat back pearls and a couple of spots and I also gessoed those and then I added this beautiful lace at the bottom just to give it some daintiness and then I have this beautiful chipboard piece that I got from Leaky Shed Studios. And then I gessoed that just to kind of bring that out. And then I have this really cute peaches orange uh, fabric flower here that I put in the corner. So that's the front of my tag. And then the back of my tag, I used one of the cut aparts and I made a pocket. And then I gessoed um, around the back as well. And then I made this little tag here. I added the paper and then gessoed around the edges and added a Tuscany rose and then a Tuscany rose bud. And then another one of the leaves. And then another one of the little cut aparts I took and I bent it and then just made it dimensional. And then I also added some more seam binding which I used Vintage Photo on again just to sh um, grunge it up just a little bit. And then the back is just plain and I use Vintage Photo on the back just to give it a distressed look. And then it goes right here in the pocket. And that is my project. So stay tuned for the picture for the grand prize and also stay tuned for close-ups of my tag. And all the links to all the other um, hoppers, um, YouTube and the blog, uh, will be in the description box below and so will the um, requirements for